Kia ora and welcome to the first electric vehicle charger forecast for the next few days in New Zealand. Brought to you by Ecotricity, New Zealand's only 100% carbon zero certified renewable electricity provider. And what a strong season it's been for EVs already, with more than 175 rapid chargers and thousands of regular chargers in homes and businesses around the country. In fact, with 13,000 electric cars now on the nation's roads and growing fast, it seems that winter is here for dirty petrol and diesel cars. So what can we expect over the coming days? Well, a warm front of preheated electric cars will be moving across for the rest of September, with temperatures soon to be colder than a steel public toilet seat. But let's take a look at Tesla's weather map, where there's a very warm and welcome ridge of rapid charging blue skies appearing throughout New Zealand. This is creating some new blue sky Tesla hotspots to visit in Whangarei, Geraldine and Taihape. More superchargers are coming soon for another prominent New Zealand city. Like Tesla, it starts with a T and it ends with, well, it ends with retirement. It's Tauranga. But this means that residents of the country's fifth largest city will be able to supercharge their cars in less time than it takes to replace the battery in a hearing aid. Now, moving to the eco-friendly ChargeNet rapid chargers, the forecast is clear with no congestion or waiting times. ChargeNet are chasing new highs from Kaipurianga all the way down to Bluff, making it possible to drive an electric vehicle throughout the country to chase down those sunny days. A massive high pressure zone of new ChargeNet installs is hitting the capital right now, with no fewer than 30 public chargers in the process of being connected and wired up. This is expected to carry on for at least the next month, gradually easing the charging problems of electric car drivers in the nation's capital. Next is Christchurch, which has been experiencing temperatures about as warm as Joseph Stalin this winter. The charging forecast, however, looks very clear, with unobstructed charging, and its six high-power DC chargers are set to carry on running well, along with a new 50 kilowatt charger which has just been installed north of the city in Kaiapoi. Heading into smaller centres, we can see that Franz Josef Glacier has an easing of its charging situation with the fresh new installation of 50 kilowatt and 25 kilowatt charging options. That's good news for winter motorists driving into the beautiful south. There's also a lot happening on the buttocks of the South Island, with no fewer than three high power charge installs coming soon, with 25 kilowatt connections forecast for Tuatepere and Owaka, while a 50 kilowatt charger is awaiting connection in Bluff. Sadly, there's no end in sight for the charging woes in Murchison, which is still waiting for public charging. For those desperate, there is the option of charging at a camping ground, but that's about it. Though Tesla owners do have the option of destination charging. Sad news for electric car visitors to Murchison this year. Wherever that is. Now, Stewart Island doesn't usually come up in electric car news, and today's no exception. Moving to the very far north, Cape Rianga is forecast to experience 50 kilowatt and 25 kilowatt charging. With luck, this should arrive to the area within a few weeks, which will make it the country's northernmost rapid charger, and perhaps the most interesting thing to happen there in decades. Now let's look across the ditch to Australia, as a massive front of... Well, absolutely nothing is happening there, because they're still so busy chasing coal and far behind New Zealand that we should just check out this pigeon I fed last week instead. Interesting. And to wrap up today's charger forecast, some sad news for the country's petrol station operators, who are complaining that with petrol quickly approaching $2.40 a litre, more motorists than ever are filling up and driving away without paying. Not only that, the number of petrol stations worldwide is continuing to fall as motorists make the move to cleaner, cheaper electricity. So sad. Otherwise, you are now up to date. Drive safe and be sure to use electricity from 100% wind, hydro and solar power, such as that from Ecotricity, which is 100% Kiwi and 50% community owned. And they're not just talking the talk. Every single charge you've seen mentioned in this forecast uses their completely clean electricity. But more importantly, in this forecast, you have no idea if I'm wearing pants or not. Goodbye.